So you want to achieve your fitness goals, but you're sick and tired of counting calories because it takes way too long or because you're not seeing the results you want and deserve. Well, there is a bad way to do it and there is a good way to do it. And good news, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get in the best shape and health of my life. So let's get right into this video. Years ago, I was stuffing my face with food. I was eating more and more just because I wanted to build muscle and hopefully not gain fat. Well, years down the road, I realized that was not the best approach. And at some point, eventually started counting calories. Yes, I saw some results, but for the time I was spending on weighing my food, counting all the calories, that was not enough. I knew there is a better way because I was waiting so much time on every single gram of my food. I was going crazy. Luckily, after years of gathering knowledge and after years of experience, I've come up with the best way to count your calories in almost no time and to achieve your dream body and health way easier and faster than before. And in this video, I'm going to show you all the principles that I use every single day. Number one, use a scale. So many people are trying to estimate just by using their eyes how much does a certain food weigh. But let me tell you, reality is way more different than you think. You may look at the steak and think it's 100 grams but it could really easily be 60 grams or even 160 grams. As I have told you in my videos so many times, counting calories could be wrong by up to 30%, which means if you're eating 2000 calories, you might be eating only 1400 or 2600 calories which is crazy. Make sure you start using a scale because this will help you improve so much faster and easier. I know it's a no-brainer, but there are so many people skipping this step and this is what mainly stops you from achieving your goals. Number two, you should weigh your food before cooking it. For example, if you cook beans, and you don't weigh the food before that, but after cooking, it will weigh three times more just because the sauce, the water and everything that you have used during the cooking process. Therefore, you could be consuming hundreds and hundreds of calories further than what you have thought. So make sure you weigh the food before you cook it. Number three, careful with the cooking fat. So many people make this mistake. They say, oh, I'm just going to make a salad. Salads have almost zero calories because they are made of vegetables. Yes, that's true. But when you start adding the dressings, when you start pouring down cooking fat on top of the salad, this salad that could be 20 calories is now 7 to 800 calories and you're not even realizing it. And then you're saying to yourself, what am I doing wrong? I'm eating only salads all day and I'm still gaining so much weight. What is going on? This is what is going on. You should be careful when using cooking fat and dressings because you could be adding hundreds of calories to your meals without even realizing it. What I advise you to do is to add just one teaspoon of olive oil to your salads and when you need to cook on a pan, you stop using butter or oil or all of that high calorie stuff and you start using the low calorie sprays that you just spray the whole pan for one second 
no more than that one second it's enough and that way you're going to save hundreds of calories you were not even realizing you were consuming number four and this is golden please remember it it will change your life you can make your meal once count the calories for that meal and write it somewhere then in the future you can use the same quantity of food that you use to prepare the meal and not have to count the calories again because you have already calculated them and you have written them down therefore when i make an oatmeal and i see it's 300 calories the next day i don't have to calculate again i just need to weigh the food make sure it's the same quantity as before and i already know it's 300 calories that way i just saved myself at least 30 to 60 minutes that day and the last tip i have for you which is probably the most important of all of them and i highly recommend you start using it is to stop counting calories once you are experienced enough yes you heard that right it may sound contrary to all the tips that i previously presented to you but believe me we all have lives we all have chores we all have families jobs and all of that we are busy we don't have time to spend calculating everything that's why i highly recommend you to construct a whole meal plan for yourself made of all your meals that you love weigh them once calculate the calories for them once and start eating like that every single day every single week and month and year and no you don't have to eat the same thing every single day you'll get sick make several meal plans that you can use for example on monday you eat chicken on tuesday you eat fish on wednesday you eat beef and so on and so on you change things so we keep it interesting to you food is delicious and on top of that you're saving a ton of time from just counting your calories again and again and the last tip this is a bonus one is to meal prep all the food for the week in one day for example on sunday you can cook all the meat you will eat during the week you cook the rice or the potatoes if you want and you will cook your vegetables or salads then you just put them in even sized boxes you weigh them to make sure they're all even quantity and you put them in the fridge or in the freezer depending on the type of food you cook and that way, in just one to two hours, you have all your food for the whole week prepared. And most importantly, you will not have to weigh or count calories again during that whole week. Just this will save you at least 10 hours. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to get in the best shape of your life make sure you watch the video that pops up on the screen right now because it's filled with priceless information you definitely don't want to miss out see you in the next video